Hi guys, it's Kyla. Guess what I am doing? I'm finally doing a hair tricks video. Yes, everyone's been asking me for this and I've kind of avoided it because I am going to be sharing three of my hairstyles that I like doing. Also, I am filming this in the night because one of my hairstyles have I, you have to sleep on it. So basically, I'm going to film this, I'm going to sleep, I'm going to wake up, and I'm going to film how it shows up. So the first one I do is really basic. I normally do this when I have a test or I need to concentrate. And this is just where I put some of my hair back and I bring a bit of it forward. All of these hairstyles are mainly pretty easy except for when I do my bun. So all you need is a hair tie. You just go like this and you have to get the right amount of hair out in the right spot otherwise it will look pretty funky monkey <laughs> tie back your hair and what i like to do is i like to move the hair tie down a bit and then loosen up so that it's just like this yeah and this is how i do this hairstyle which i like wearing a lot because it's really fast and it's casual so the next hairstyle that i'm doing is the bun that i do you can see it on my personal instagram at whatever her name is the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure your hair is like down the middle and you will look kind of weird while doing this so i just i don't like doing this in public so you want to take some hair from the front and middle and you're just going to put that in a quick elastic it doesn't have to be a lot just a bit is fine it's okay if you look weird and you look like a unicorn doing this so i did get this hairstyle from a friend and I'm not sure if this is on another YouTube channel. I'm not sure where she got it from. So I'm sorry if another person has this up here. I don't mean to steal their content. But anyways, you take two sides of your hair and you just let that out. The next step that you're going to want to do is you put your hair up in a high ponytail. It is alright if some of your hair in the back falls down because you can just bobby pin that up. So I like going for a messy bum look. So I like just using my hands to put my ponytail up, but if you want to use a brush, it does make it look a lot nicer and smoother. Once you get your hair up in a ponytail, finally, you'll want it to like fall to the sides just so it's easier to do the bun part of it. And by this time I kind of go like this. And the whole time I just have like this hair in front of my face, which is kind of annoying. So maybe you know this trick because this is a trick. I'm sorry, I can't handle that in my face when I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs> you'll want to get a sock and cut it it's like I had my emo bangs like I used to have a long time ago <laughs> you'll want to get a sock and you just cut off the tip so you have the opening where you normally put your foot and then it's like a donut you probably know where I'm going with this so I like to fold the sock over a bit so it's not as weird and what you're going to do is you're going to put this through your hair and then you put it up to the very tips and then you start rolling this. Now, it's alright if it's messy, you don't have to freak out about that. You just kind of roll the sock in and you try to tuck in most of those hairs. It's not a really big deal if you don't get all of them in. Once you tuck in your hair a bit to how you like it, a trick I've learned is that if you just take the little ones that stick out and you just swoop them to the side, even though they aren't tucked into the little donut that you made, you can easily just Put your ponytail around that and it doesn't have to be perfect please remember that because this is a messy butt i do style it to be a messy butt once i have my hair up in its little area like everything's tied up i like to make sure that none of the donut the sock i like to call it the donut none of the donut is showing and it's all right if you have hairs that stick out because you can bobby pin those after so you're going to need a lot of bobby pins for this next part but you are going to undo your unicorn horn and you can either split this hair into two pieces and wrap it around like this or one piece and wrap it around like that but before you wrap it around you have to have to have to have to take a bobby pin and you just pin it back to the bun not on the bun but like right underneath it Now sometimes when you do this you will get hair that just kind of pops up right there. I normally just don't care about the hair but I know my friend who showed me this trick, she does care a lot about those tiny hairs and she will 
bobby pin though so feel free to just bobby pin it down if you get bumps and ridges that you do not like next step that you're gonna do is you're just going to take the hair that you just bobby pinned up you're going to grab another bobby pin and basically you just wrap it around the bun i like to try to get the hairs that i'm going to bobby pin and kind of wrap them around in this and then you just find a little spot and you bobby pin that strand of hair yeah as you can see i have these hairs in the back that are hideous and i hate them and with the tiny hairs you can just go like this and bobby pin them up and it's alright if they stick out on the back like this because you can just bobby pin those when you do your final touches and everything. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the time to bobby pin anything that I miss, make sure none of the hairs are flying up, and get all the extras. <laughs> Normally I can use up to like 15 bobby pins in my hair with this hairstyle, but I promise you it's worth it because it looks very nice. It's definitely one of my favorite hairstyles. And ta-da! Once you finish it, you can just either curl the hairs on the side and then you can pull them down to give them a loose curl and over time they will wear down. So after about two hours, my tight curls that I'll put up here will loosen up and they'll look really natural and nice. So the next trick, which is super popular, is how I get my curly hair. Basically, I got this idea from Vivian V of how she gets her heartless curls and everything. And I used to do this with my long hair, but because my hair is like, my hair is kind of thin and it molds really easily. I know that's a weird word to use, but it's true. The braids that she does actually makes my hair really curly with tight curls. So what you're going to do is you're going to make sure your hair is down the middle like this. And you do want slightly damp hair. Normally I just uh, get my hands wet and run it through my hair or mist it. Or you can do this after you've taken a shower and your hair is pretty dry. You just get two spots like this. And because I like my hair having tighter curls, I do smaller pieces. If you want more loose curls, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to get bigger pieces of hair. You get the two pieces and you twist one over the other. And then you go like this. And you grab some hair that you have down here. So you do the same thing with this one. Twist it over. And then you add some hair into it. Now you just keep on doing this until you run out of hair. And remember that the amount of hair that you add to it will affect how curly it is. Once you twist it like this, you just put it in like a regular bun on the side of your head. And twist. And you put it in to the hair band. Then you're just gonna do the second side. Now that you have both buns and they don't have to look identical, you just go to sleep and then take it out in the morning. And so that is exactly what I'm going to do. Good morning guys. So I just woke up after doing my hair thing. So I'm going to go and I'm going to take out my little buns. You just take them out and you unbraid them and they look kind of weird at first, but trust me, it's okay. They will look better afterwards and when you put the hairspray in. So now that you have your hair out, it does look kind of weird. I like to kind of bring my hair at the roots up to get some volume. And then I have my hairspray that I love using. And I like going like this. I just spray that on. And you just, I like to scrunch it up a bit because a lot of the times it's not as curly as I like. And it's okay if it's messy. Trust me, it's normal. I know I use a lot of hairspray. I just rather be safe than sorry, okay? I am going to apologize right now. For my weird voice, I normally sound kind of off right after I wake up and I really just did film this as soon as I woke up. I woke up like five minutes ago. I was like, okay, I'm just gonna film the video now and get it over with. Well, as you can see, the curls are kind of tight and it looks kind of off, 
but after about an hour the curls go down and it kind of fixes itself and it looks really good so you just have to have faith the first time I tried this with the short hair I kind of freaked out because I was like oh my god it looks weird but basically you just give it time and it'll fix itself thank you for watching if you want to see more videos or want to see the vlog where I cut my hair you can look at that video right there if you want to subscribe you can press that button why don't you comment some nice hair tricks that you know and I will see you guys later